Hola hola, Claudina9 here. In today's video, we'll be discussing every single outfit Rainbow High parodied in their first wave of dolls. Fans of the doll line were quick to notice this character's Billie Eilish inspired look. But did you know every single girl from Rainbow High pulls inspo from pop culture and designers? We'll be going over reference pieces. Later, we'll be discussing the Rainbow High animated series coming soon. Can the brand survive bad reviews and quality control issues? And will MGA be sued by Billie Eilish like they tried suing Louis Vuitton in 2018? Stay with me to find out. Before we dive in, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to help us continue creating informative content and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Now, let's dive in. Ask anyone in the doll community about Rainbow High and they'll let you know the doll line is taking the toy industry by storm. It's only been out for two weeks and the MGA owned franchise has already already garnered 1.6 million views on their first commercial. The dolls are polarizing, featuring exaggerated caricature type features resembling that of an anime character. What sets these dolls apart isn't their cartoon-like proportions, but high-quality fashions at a $26 price point. These dolls offer clothing pieces and accessories that typically only come with $100 collectible dolls, in the dawn of price inflation for fashion dolls. But will their high-quality fashion be enough to remain on store shelves? Many fans have taken to Facebook and Instagram to share rampant quality control issues with the Rainbow High dolls, an issue that seems to be a quintessential for MGA brands. Fans have also complained about the LOL OMG dolls and Bratz 2018 collector dolls for having similar quality control issues like chipped eyes, staining on the doll's face or body, and clothing with missing buttons. Rainbow High dolls have inset eyes, which are a type of glass acrylic eye. There's been a pattern of Violet Willow having uneven eyes, with one looking upward and one looking downward. This issue was so notable that fans have uploaded YouTube tutorials on how to fix the eyes using a boiling water method. Another problem fans have expressed is the doll's articulated joints. Some consumers have experienced broken limbs or hands while trying to redress their dolls, resulting in poor customer reviews. While I haven't experienced many quality control issues with the Rainbow High dolls I own, I think it's safe to say many fans can look past factory errors when a doll is fashionable and under $50. LOL OMG, which many fans complain have missing pieces, chipped eyes, or messy hair, continue to be the best-selling fashion doll on the market, arguably mending the broken rapport between MGA and consumers by reviving the fashion doll industry. What do you think? Would you still buy a doll despite quality control issues at a $26 price point? Or would you rather save it for something else? Let me know your thoughts. Despite mixed reviews, everyone can agree that these dolls designer fashion is on trend, current, and well executed. But what many may not realize is that the doll's designs are pulled directly from brand name designers like Gucci, Off-White, Supreme, and Dior to name a few. Last year, MGA tried suing Louis Vuitton after parodying their monogram bag. I'll be discussing the probability of Billie Eilish or any of the brands suing MGA later in this video. But for now, I'll be showing side-by-side -side references of each character's outfit and the designer pieces they've been inspired by. Beginning with Sunny Madison, who sports a Sailor Moon-inspired bright yellow hairstyle and golden bomber jacket, Sunny can be seen wearing the $700 Gucci Gold Metallic Peggy sneakers from their 2017 Spring Summer Collection. Aside from the Peggy sneakers, I had trouble finding any other reference made in her design. If you recognize any, let me know below. Next up is my personal favorite, Ruby Anderson. Ruby sports a Vaughn Dutch inspired cap straight from the head of Nicole Richie, the Supreme box logo tee, which has been parodied as Sparkle, and her flame heels resemble that of Vediment's Essence exclusive black and red leather flame boot. Additionally, her extra jacket resembles the Balenciaga nylon tracksuit logo jacket. It goes without saying Jade Hunter is giving off Billie Eilish vibes, and the fact she's wearing several pieces owned by Billie confirms it. Jade sports the Billie Eilish X Freak City graffiti shorts and Gucci Flash Trek sneakers. Fun fact, these sneakers have removable spikes and jewels depending on the version. Billie sported the jewel version at the Grammys after party in 2019. Her t-shirt is a riff of anti-social 
social social club's black tee, and her other pair of shoes are the Nike Uptempo sneaker, which was also a collaboration with Supreme. Skylar must be a huge fan of Virgil Abloh, as many of her pieces are pulled from the brand Off-White. From her strappy belt to the off-white denim printed jacket, off-white long sleeve diagonal tee, an off-white zip-tie capri sandal, it's safe to say Skylar is a girl with an eye for fashion. Her additional dress took me a while to find, as its design has been taken by fast fashion brands over and over and over again. But sported by Olivio Palermo in 2017, it appears the dress is a blue version of the Diesel 2017 Black Gold Resort Cruise leather dress. Poppy is another character whose pieces can be found in fast fashion stores like Forever 21 or Pretty Little Thing, so it was difficult tracking down the luxury parallels, but her shoes seem to resemble the iconic Sophia Webster Kiara butterfly heel, and her additional hoodie a parody of Gucci Women's logo hoodie. If you recognize her pieces, let us know below. The most controversial character, Violet. I know I've seen her dress at Fashion Week, but I can't quite pinpoint it. While it doesn't resonate with me to say this, it's possible her dress is a reference to Bella Hadid's Dior tulle dress, or the Dior Spring Summer 2017 tulle dress, which similarly features the brand logo in white ribbon as sleeves and accentuating the waist. Her shoes seem to be a cross between the Gucci Alley leather ankle strap, pearl studded platform sandals, and Gucci Marmont leather black heel sandals. Do you think Violet resembles a person as well? She gives me Screen Queens vibes, and her character bio says she's an influencer. I'm curious who you all think she may be inspired by, if anyone. Wow, that's a lot of high-end fashion for the girls of Rainbow High. And MGA is keeping their promise of being a company that recognizes trends and pop culture. Take a look at Rainbow High's sister company, LOL Surprise, which has dolls that resemble Janet Jackson, Madonna, Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, and Elton John. So why is it that MGA attempted to sue Louis Vuitton over a parody bag, but not these celebrities for taking their likeness? Let's take a look at the law for a second. Section 107 of the Copyright Act is the section that provides for fair use, a doctrine which allows certain actions which would otherwise amount to copyright infringement. This video, for example, is protected under Section 107. Parodies use copyrighted works for purposes that fair use was designed to protect explains CopyrightAlliance.org. Many were confused over the controversy, but to clear some things up, it wasn't Louis Vuitton that sued MGA. MGA tried suing Louis Vuitton. Wait, what? You heard that right. The case was thrown out as there wasn't enough evidence that Louis Vuitton would try suing MGA down the line. So will MGA attempt suing Billie Eilish? Probably not if they haven't already. Although, MGA did sue Lady Gaga for $10 million back in 2012 after a breach of contract. MGA was going to produce a line of Lady Gaga dolls, but the line was canceled before its release. So MGA has a history of suing people, and it's possible they'll do the same with any of the brands they referenced as parody. But hopefully unlikely. Anyone who looks at this doll would instantly think of Billie Eilish. Do you think it would be right for Billy to sue MGA for using her likeness, or do you think it falls under fair use? Characters like Amaya Rain are already sold out on websites like Amazon. If you're interested in purchasing Rainbow High dolls, I've left my Amazon affiliate links in the description to purchase them. Finally, a doll franchise with a series again. The Rainbow High commercials feature animated styles, and it's possible these are taken directly from the upcoming series or theme song. According to Toy News Online, Rainbow High will be launching an animated series this autumn in the US. And thanks to my friend Elvira from The Doll Circle, I found out the series will air on the Rainbow High website and YouTube based on the PR kit she was sent by MGA. I'll be keeping you updated on any news, so be sure to click subscribe. Are you excited for the upcoming series? What do you think the plot will be about? Normally, new characters debut in animated series before their doll release, so it's possible this upcoming series series will feature new unreleased characters as well. Let me know your thoughts. As always, be sure to turn on notifications, click thumbs up, and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya!